Ladies and gentlemen, welcome. It is our privilege today to have in our studio H2.0 television and also in our institution, the Faculty of Sociology Psychology of the University of Spiruharet, to have His Holiness, uh, Venerable Tampai Rinpoche. Thank you, Master, for accepting uh, with so much generosity our invitation. We are totally grateful. Allow me to, to say a very few words about your uh, extraordinary life and activity. Venerable Rinpoche was born in Tibet in the Kailash Mountains. He journeyed from a young age in, to Nepal. He studied in India with many great masters and also uh, uh, in the renowned Sanskrit University of Varanasi. In 1990, uh, he uh, founded and uh, he built uh, the most advanced monastery from Nepal in Kathmandu, the Royal White University and You're right. You're uh, right, sir. Mon monastery, and also the Institute for Religious Study. You are right, sir. You're right. Um, His Holiness traveled all around the world, and with the aim of helping all sentient beings. Um, he, his life is dedicated to uh, peace, to unify, to unify all the religion and to enlightenment. Is it Venerable Rinpoche something in particular that you may wish to share with us from your extraordinary life and let me say from your epic activity? Yes, thank you, Professor. I got this uh, this university and. Uh, the university, uh, the dean and directors and uh, professor give me this opportunity that I have a chance to speak what, what I have to speak from my heart. And uh, all, the, all the introduction that you made, it is 100% correct. I was born in Mount Kailash uh, with a very divine sign that this little boy who was born will bring peace and unity in, in this world. He will protect the world. So a lot of enlightened masters, yogis came there, they celebrate and they greet me and my mother and father told me. And then actually, uh, even though nobody inspired me, there was a natural ins kind of inspiration in my heart that I, I was born for this world, to protect this world and all human beings. So that's why I, I had to... Uh, uh, study all these religious studies and uh, respect all religion and all religious kind of uh, tradition and culture and uh, actually I, I, I knew I understood that all religion and all culture shares one divine essence, one divine truth that the universal peace and harmony is the essence of all the culture, essence of all religion, the universal everlasting freedom is the essence and uh, the, uh, nature of all the culture and tradition and religion. Universal everlasting forever loving heart is a divine nature of all religion and heart of all human being. And the great bliss of enlightenment is divine nature, divine truth of all religion and all heart of all human being. So I, I realized that even though all religion shares different language, different culture, different outlook, but essentially they are all one. They are all universal peace, they are all universal uh, freedom, they are all universal everlasting loving heart, and they are all universal great bliss of enlightenment. And uh, the service is also same, to serve all mankind, to love all, to serve all, and protect all. And all religious share same essence, same divine truth, and also share same divine uh, duty, same uh, divine service to serve all the mankind, to love them all, to protect them all, and to respect them all. So knowing this, uh, I was very interested, very devoted to all religion. So in order to study the essence of all religion and the philosophy of all religion, I went to university in Varanasi, where I studied 10 years until I became doctor of philosophy. So, um, and then 
what I study was an uh, intellectual study. And it was necessary for me to, to realize, to get the realization and the enlightenment. Um, so that my knowledge is not limited in intellectual, but more in the realization of the truth. So I stayed like four years, uh, traditional three year retreat, to practicing the divine technique of enlightenment with my master, 16 Karmapa. And uh, after I study 16 years, uh, no, no, 16 years and uh, uh, practice the meditation, uh, four years, then I was, was appointed by my spiritual master to go to the world and teach all, all the people in this world and wake them all and urge them to, 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 to uh, wake up and then to urge them to work for peace and unity. Because the, without achieving the peace and unity in this world, this world will not survive. So that's why every human being must believe and concentrate that we are all one, that we are all children of God, children of Buddha, we, and we all share some same divine truth, some divine nature, and we all have a same divine service to love all and serve all and protect all. So in this way, I complete my studies in 10 years in, in, um, in university, and then I finish the three-year retreat, and then I was enthusiastic to teach this world and to wake, wake up all human beings to walk for peace and unity, that we are all one. Mm -hmm. It is a, a remarkable adventure and uh, allowed me to say that it's uh, incredible what you have done and realize it's unique and we desperately need your message, your personality and your work because every day it's happened, even I feel it myself in my heart that we are full of uh, negative emotions and uh, we need to purify them. How can we practice uh, this uh, mm, necessary work of purification? We are here in, also in a faculty of psychology. Uh, what w will be your message uh, towards the students in psychology and how can they purify and look at their souls and see the negative emotions? Yes, Professor, I'm very honored that you asked me a very important question. It's a very practical question for all the viewers and all the human beings who really wants to be spiritual and who really wants to learn the spiritual technique for purification and transformation. So, uh, the negative emotions, the anger, the jealousy, the greediness, the doubts, the stupidity, all these six negative emotions, they are caused by ignorance and egoism of human being. The ignorance is not other than that we all are misunderstood with the truth of ourselves, that we have misjudgment with ourselves, that we have ignorant, not realizing, not able to realize our own divine truth, uh, with uh, our own divine nature, which is universal peace, which is universal freedom, and uh, our own divine nature, we are forever loving nature. So without realizing this truth, um, out of ignorant, out of misunderstanding without truth, people are get lost in the world of ignorant and the world of egoism and experience endless suffering and fear caused by ignorant and egoism. So that's why egoism and ignorant give birth of all negative emotion. Egoism and ignorant give birth of uh, anger, give birth of uh, jealousy, give birth of greediness, give birth of uh, desire, give birth of doubt give birth all negative thoughts. And each of those negative emotions and thoughts bring endless suffering and fear. They, they cause endless suffering and fear. But fortunately, these negative emotions, this ignorance, mm -hmm. this uh, egoism, which cause endless suffering and fear for, or, or for every, every being, but actually they are not our reality. Not our, they are not our truth. They are not our divine nature. They are not our divine truth. They are our cover or shell obstacle which we have to peel out. Okay. Until we peel out the shell of obstacle or shell of uh, egoism and uh, until we purify the shell of ignorance, we cannot reach our divine essence which is universal peace. Mm -hmm. We cannot enjoy our divine essence which is universal freedom. We cannot enjoy our uh, universal uh, divine nature which is forever loving nature. And we cannot enjoy our divine quality which is a great bliss of enlightenment. And uh, we cannot enjoy our divine treasure, which is the treasure of God, treasure of Buddha. 
So that's why it is compulsory, you know, for us to remove our ignorant and purify our egoism. Once our ignorant is purified by the wisdom of enlightenment, and our uh, uh, egoism and selfishness is purified by the practice of loving kindness, only then we are able to enjoy our divine nature, divine treasure, divine essence, which is a uh, great bliss of enlightenment, which is a universal loving heart, which is a great bliss of enlightenment, which is a uh, universal everlasting freedom and universal peace and harmony. So that's why, uh, in order to reach our divine essence and able to enjoy our divine treasure, which is a universal peace and harmony, which is a universal freedom, which is a universal everlasting loving heart, we must peel out our shell, our clouds of ignorance and egoism. Mm -hmm. And we have technique to purify it. The, the, the wisdom of enlightenment, the wisdom of enlightenment that you can learn from your spiritual master, by practicing this, by developing this wisdom of enlightenment, everybody is free to remove the ignorant. You know? And after they remove the ignorant, then they are able to enjoy their divine essence, which is a great bliss of enlightenment. And the other essence, essential technique to purify our egoism is uh, by practicing and developing the wisdom of enlightenment and by practicing and developing the nectar of loving compassion, <coughs> practice of loving compassion and practice of tolerance, practice of forgiveness can, can transform and purify our egoism and able to peel out the shell of our egoism and reach our essence which is forever loving essence. You know? So that we are forever, when our, our, when our mind is free from egoism, when our egoism is transformed and purified, only then we are uh, able to uh, realize our divine uh, nature, which is forever loving nature. And then we are forever free to love all, and serve all, and protect all, and, and respect all, forever. We become divine protector of beings forever. Mm. The, the nectar of love and compassion, it sounds beautiful. And... Uh, allowed me uh, to 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 say the following it is so hard to learn how to love mm -hmm. uh, from love there are many many negative emotions there are family uh, where mm -hmm. love is misunderstood mm -hmm. and the children mm -hmm. are born in in uh, environment in when hatred it is uh, a mm -hmm. usual effect and it's mm -hmm. so hard and there's so, so many suffering in there mm. to, to uh, can uh, uh, be able to, to know the, the true love, the true compassion. Mm. I, was, I was wondering sometimes how can I uh, try to be loving with a person which is so poisoned with hatred and mm. it's so hard for me, Venerable Rinpoche. Yes, yes. Yes, I'm so happy. This is such a practical question, a very helpful question. And uh, I wish that my answer will be a very big uh, help and guidance for all, all listeners and uh, viewers. You see, this first of all, uh, it is very important for us, the quality of love, that we are by nature, universe loving nature. We are uh, not by nature, uh, hateful nature. We are not aggressive nature. The egoism and anger is not our nature. This is our obstacles. Mm -hmm. Our real divine nature is forever our loving nature. And we have to give uh, the uh, kind of religious or spiritual nature. studies that to the youngsters. Forever mm -hmm. loving so nature. Uh, they get enough nature. teaching about the um, loving compassion. Mm -hmm. To give they more specific teaching and introduction about love. Mm -hmm. And uh, uh, teach the student, young people, how to overcome uh, egoism and uh, anger which is our obstacle, which is not our real nature, which is not our real essence, but it's our obstacle. And then uh, to, to teach the young people the disadvantage or demerit of anger and egoism, which bring all the suffering and fear. You know? mm -hmm. Where else our true heart love, our true divine nature, which is forever living nature, by practicing love and by practicing forgiveness and practicing tolerance, how much our, we can bless our life, how we can become ourselves a great human being, and plus how much our universal loving heart that we believe and practice can, can give so much great service, so much protection, so much uh, help for other beings. Mm -hmm. So that's why and I hope that all youngsters in future 
that they get a special uh, kind of education, um, special uh, study uh, about a universal loving heart. You know? I think it's very, very important. Because when I, when I study, since I was 12 years, my masters, teachers in my school, they introduce this universal loving heart. We are by nature loving heart. Please practice love. We are by nature not hateful nature. We are not by nature egoism or hated. Hated egoism is our biggest obstacle, biggest enemy inside, which you have to conquer by trusting and developing the universal loving heart, which is your divine nature. So I, from childhood, I know this. And then I know how much it's important to love our parents, <coughs> love our mother, who is the root of our life, how much important it is to take universal responsibility, uh, to love others, to serve others, and then to, to protect others and, uh, and uh, respect all. Respect all religion, respect all human beings, respect all living beings. So more you practice love, true heart of love, more you practice forgiveness and uh, uh, practice tolerance, you can feel the universal loving heart within yourself. Mm -hmm. You can enjoy this treasure of love forever. Mm -hmm. the, our universal loving heart, what we can practice, what we can believe, which is our divine essence, is the treasure of God. Mm -hmm. The universal loving heart, which is the everybody's essence, which is everybody's treasure, is the treasure of God. No? You cannot find a separate God beside the universal loving heart that everybody uh, that can develop, which is everybody's essence. So, the universal loving heart, universal peace, harmony, which is our essence, which is our divine nature, is another name of God, another name of Buddha, which everybody can develop and enjoy this treasure. No? Mm -hmm. yes, yes. It is an extraordinary um, perspective. The universal loving heart it's, is our nature. Yes. We are universal loving heart. Yes, yes. And it's remarkable for me because, for example, I was uh, born in a perspective when hatred it's a part of me and not an obstacle and maybe I uh, this is the, the major change in, in me and in us mm. to see the hatred as an obstacle not as a nature yeah and it is so hard and I I am grateful to you Venerable mm. Poche, that I see in you a person who love and who is universal loving heart mm -hmm. and yeah. I can learn from you directly without words I feel sometimes that words are meaningless because yes, yes, the, yes, the energy and the, the, the acti your activity is love, pure love yes, yes, yes. Um, yes. but uh, as you say um, this uh, universal loving heart which is our divine nature, which is our divine essence uh, love is God, love is Buddha, and uh, love is uh, our divine essence. Peace is Buddha, peace is God, peace is essence of all religion, and peace is essence of our heart, of our nature, our mind. So that's why uh, this uh, universal loving heart, which is our divine essence, which is everybody's divine essence, must be realized, must be cherished, must be respected by all. Uh, beings who have mind, no, and uh, and we must know that this egoism and ignorance misdrive us. The egoism, when you get angry, something as you told me, professor, uh, when people get angry, they say I'm angry. So they 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 respect anger, they feed anger, mm -hmm. which is actually a a, a, a monster. If you feed your anger, if you appreciate anger, if, you know without realizing that anger is your greatest uh, robbery, your greatest criminal that can make great crime, crime in your heart and take away all your peace and love and all the good things away. And the fire of anger will burn all your qualities, you know. Mm -hmm. Without knowing, some people have not, uh, they didn't found a master or they didn't get enough teaching. They do, who, people who didn't get any guidance, they think, I'm angry means I have to cherish my anger. Mm -hmm. I have to feed my anger. Mm -hmm. This is a big ignorant. So people who who feed their anger and who appreciate their anger and who become servant of the anger can cause countless destruction, countless fear and suffering for oneself and for others. So that's why it is necessary that all human beings realize our anger is our greatest enemy, mm -hmm. a greatest fire which can invite us in, 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 in hell. 
The flame of anger burns us, destroys us, at the end it invites us in hell and experience countless suffering. So there's no greater anger, there's great, no greater sin or uh, no greater enemy than the anger of everyone. That's why every human being must take universal responsibility to win over inner enemy of egoism and anger. That's why Lord Jesus Christ, Lord Jesus Christ has to accept all the torturing and crucifying, suffering. And the Lord Jesus Christ won't accept the, that, that someone uh, they provoke his anger and his egoism. And he, he, he took these uh, provocators, people who tortured him, crucify him, as his master, who, who can help him to conquer his anger, to, uh, to, to smash his anger, smash his egoism. You know? mm -hmm. And uh, uh, <clears throat> so, uh, with the help of our enemy who provoke us, our anger, uh, mm -hmm. Lord Jesus Christ took a uh, wonderful opportunity to, to win our inner enemy of anger and egoism, and conquer his egoism and transform his ego, ego, uh, egoism and anger into universal loving heart. Mm. And then Lord Jesus Christ become one with Almighty God. In Buddhism we say he become Buddha. You know? mm. So that's why every human being should re recognize our egoism and, uh, and our anger is not our quality. That's mm. something we have to respect and cherish. Mm -hmm. It is our greatest enemy and obstacle we should over win from egoism and anger Egoism and anger, which is ultimate cause of suffering and fear, uh, since countless lifetime, and since endless future lifetime, until we conquer, purify, and transform this stupid anger and uh, stupid e egoism, which is the ultimate cause of our suffering, mm -hmm. we will never be happy. So that's why every human being should recognize our enemies inside us, mm -hmm. our egoism, everybody's egoism, everybody's uh, anger is the greatest enemy, which causes greatest destruction for others and oneself. So that's why everybody, every human being should, uh, should recognize uh, uh, belief that we are forever loving nature. Love, divine, forever loving nature is our divine nature and respect our loving heart and, uh, and raise up our loving nature and take universal responsibility to love all, to protect all and serve all and respect all. You know, our loving heart and practice our loving compassion is a source of happiness for, one, for ourselves and for other beings. Where else our egoism and anger is source of destruction, source of um, fear and suffering mm -hmm. for others, for oneself, forever. So that's why all human beings must make a right choice that uh, we all should believe our divine uh, nature, which is forever loving nature, and believe the loving, loving heart of ourselves and give uh, best contribution, best service to the world with heart of love, with heart of peace, so that the, our loving heart our heart of peace, heart of love, and our service can give endless service, endless respect, endless uh, happiness for the for the all human being and for all the living beings and to our world. Especially the present world need urgent help. Mm -hmm. So spiritual people who believe in love, believe in peace, they should give extraordinary contribution to this present world to bring peace and unity in this world. Because the essence of all religion and, and uh, the Almighty God, Universal Loving Heart of Almighty God, Universal Loving Heart of Almighty Buddha, Universal Loving Heart of Almighty Allah, Universal Loving Heart of Essence of All Religion will protect this world from through these all spiritual people who believe in love and who believe in peace. So that's why uh, I want that this world achieve soon a world of peace, world of unity, world of prosperity, world of ser serving each other, respecting each other, protecting each other so that we can transform this outer world into the world of heaven, that all human beings become a divine being of uh, enlightenment, divine being of loving each other and serving each other. So this is my wish. This is the greatest service that I can give to this world, and I am born for this. So I am so happy that I found so many spiritual, uh, very big, great spiritual uh, men and women who understand my teaching and who practice it in this great Romania, in the East Europe, which I say this, this, is, this is heart chakra of the world. The world is transforming into a world of peace, a world of unity, a world of love. Mm -hmm. uh, from the heart chakra of the world, which is the East European, like Romania and the Hungary. You know? mm -hmm. So I'm very, very uh, grateful that you accept me, sir. Uh, my teaching and my presence. And uh, we have a lot of work together to, to, to help our world. 
Thank you. Thank you. We are very, very uh, feel honored that you have accepted our uh, invitation, Master. Uh, would you accept to to um, make us hear the sound of the loving heart from your prayer? Mm -hmm. Yes. So when somebody realized our divine nature, our divine uh, treasure, which is forever loving treasure, for, which is forever divine uh, loving nature, then uh, the sound of that person who have uh, uh, reached the, the divine nature of universal loving heart, and his sound also turns me into sound of universal loving heart, mm -hmm. which the sound which has the power to to purify everybody's every, everybody's anger, to purify everybody's egoism, mm -hmm. and transfer everybody's egoism into universal loving heart. Mm -hmm. So I am surely uh, uh, um, do these prayers as your mm -hmm. as your kind request. Thank you. Uh, allowed me to thank you again. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, it was our privilege to have in the studio of H2.0 television and in our institution, the Spiru Hyatt University, the Faculty of Sociology, Psychology, Venerable Master Tampai Rinpoche. We hope you will accept further invitation. We, was, we were and we are very, very uh, um, grateful to you. Thank, and thank I am very grateful to your university, the university directors and deans and professors who accept me and who also give me this authorization, this kind of recognition mm -hmm. that I am a visiting professor. You know, you give me this diploma. So this is a, such a heart-touching uh, gift that you give me. And uh, on be, uh, in return, I will forever love Great Romania and all the spiritual people in Romania. And I will love this, uh, this uh, university. And I will give my best service for the world uh, until the world uh, achieve a real uh, wall of peace, wall of unity, wall of loving each other. Mm -hmm. So, and then uh, now, as you kind have request, I will make this spiritual song of a universal loving heart. I will to wake up, to wake up all human beings, to wake up all human beings, and uh, transform heart of all human beings into heart of universal loving heart. I will humbly listen and uh, leave you the last 10 minutes of our broadcast for thank this. You, thank, you. thank 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 you. Oh, I come from...
and unity for the world and all human being. Thank you. Venerable Master, uh, do you have a very urgent and important message for uh, today's world? Yes, yes. So here uh, I have a request and a, and a message to all the human beings in this world that now this is our present world is transforming into a wall of uh, peace, wall of unity, and wall of loving each other, wall of serving each other, wall of uh, protecting each other, wall of uh, uh, respecting each other. So this wall and all human beings are transforming into a wall of spirituality. 
So that's why I want to request all the people in this world to be perfect spiritual holy men and women uh, who believe in universal peace, who believe in universal loving heart, and who believe and practice to serve each other, to love each other, to respect each other, and to protect each other. And I want to uh, request all great human beings to get rid of this, uh, our anger, everybody's anger, everybody's hatred, everybody's uh, selfishness, everybody's greediness is ultimate cause of human destruction, human uh, kind of fear and suffering, and it causes kind of a lot of crisis. So that's why I want all of you, uh, all human beings, not to believe in your anger, not to believe in your selfishness, and not to practice selfishness, not to, pra not to practice uh, the anger, not to practice uh, uh, greediness, and rec recognizing that our greediness and anger is the greatest cause of suffering, greatest cause of crisis. So our greediness, our egoism, our anger is not our essence, it is not our divine nature, it is not our divine truth, it is our uh, stupid uh, obstacles. No? Recognizing our anger and egoism and greediness as the greatest hindrance, greatest obstacle, I want all great human beings to purify your anger, to purify your selfishness, to purify your, your, your greedy, greediness, and believe the universal loving heart, which is everybody's heart. The universal uh, loving heart is a divine heart of every being. Um, our divine nature is not other than the uh, universal forever loving nature. It's everybody's divine nature, everybody's divine quality, everybody's divine essence. So that's why I want all of you to, uh, to, to enjoy the treasure of God, treasure of Buddha, uh, treasure of uh, uh, peace, treasure of a universal loving heart, which is the universal loving heart. And with the, with heart of universal loving heart, I want all human beings to to win over inner enemy of egoism and greediness, and re, you raise up your universal loving heart, universal loving energy, and take universal responsibility. And I want all human beings to take universal determination and the responsibility to love all, to protect all, to serve all, and to respect all. And I want all human beings to give extraordinary our present world who need urgent help. Our present world is uh, passing through a very hard time. So that's why I want all human beings to win over your, your anger and uh, greediness and uh, uh, raise up your uh, universal loving energy and then practice loving compassion, practice tolerance, practice forgiveness and then take universal responsibility to protect our world and bring a peace and unity in this world because uh, now the wish of God, the wish of essence of all religion, and the needs of all human beings coming together. So that's why the essence of all religion will protect this world through all the spiritual people who love in peace, who love in uh, serving other, loving other, who wish to have a peaceful world, a loving world. So that now we are, this world is transforming into a world of peace, a world of unity. So that's why I want all human beings to be a perfect spiritual holy man, woman. And give your best contribution to this present world to overcome all the obstacles and then uh, to achieve a standard uh, universal kind of a, a peace and unity in this world. It is very important that we concentrate to, to establish a global unity of all religion, all human being, and then establish a peaceful world, a loving world, which, which is everybody's needs. And I want all of you to, 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 to work hard for this, give your best contribution and you will be forever blessed and you will be forever happy. And we together can enjoy a prosperous, um, a world of prosperous, a world of unity, a world of peace. We can all enjoy a peaceful world, a world of peace, a world of unity. So that, is our, that will be our greatest achievement for all, all of us. Thank you very much. Jai Ho, Jai Ho. Thank you. It was... Uh, uh privilege Thank to you. be in your presence, to listen to you Thank and to you. feel yourself. Thank you. Thank you.